I'm making a huge mess in the living room. Pretty much had an emergency yesterday. Um, can't take the camper because I can't find a campsite at Lake Fork. So I called 20 different campgrounds. So I'm pretty not happy about it, but there's nothing else I can do. Made a decision to leave the house at home. So this is one tournament, but I'm so sad. So I just took it off the truck. Rod tubes have to stay home. I have no cap. I still have to go through and empty all that out, but I got all my clothes out at least. Salt from Okeechobee. Coming back from Okeechobee, we drove in a blizzard. Made it, still got my shorts on. It's a blizzard. This ain't right. Nasty. Just a total, complete mess. Packed up, ready to go. Without a cap and without my rod tubes, that's a little scary. I threw a few extra rods in the boat, just in case. Look at all that salt. Staying in a cab. Found a really nice guy. Fisherman's Inn. A couple hundred yards from the official takeoff place for the Bass Pro Tour. So it'll be convenient at least. So it's going to be a lot more expensive, a lot less comfortable. But you got to do what you got to do. GoPro stop recording. Okay, goodbye. I love you. Love you too. Be careful. All right, you be careful. to get here for so long here we are 61 degrees warming trend coming up might be hitting this one at the right time looking for a 10 pounder this week let's make it 11. well this is it teeny tiny freezer all right we're in home for the week to Lake Quitman just to go kind of get in tune with these Texas fish. Whoa, what's that? Fluke Master? I don't think he lives at Lake Fork. Maybe he does. <coughs> I do not know. Just trying out a bunch of new rods, just getting in flow. But anyway, I haven't had a bite yet today. Three hours. Heck, I don't even know if there's bass in this lake. There's one. Oh my God, it was a huge one. <sighs> Broke me off, it wrapped me around that fence ball. Dude, that was like a seven or eight pounder for sure. Did you see that? First Texas bass. See, this is just the kind of stuff I want to play with today. This is a chatter crank. Great for the chatter bait, but this is a shutter, shuttering bait from Terminator. Anytime the water's muddy like this, I catch them on this stupid thing. I need to upgrade my rod. I already learned that lesson, but I just tied it on. I'm screwing around today. But that was a eight plus pounder in a foot of water, and that was cool. <laughs> starts in the morning. Walmart didn't hardly have anything organic. It was kind of a pain in the sack. It took a while. So I'm living on salads and 
Annie's Cheesy Raviolis. And my truck smells like a dang skunk. Just be glad you don't have scratch and sniff screen. Oh my gosh. It smells like I had a direct hit or something. Annie's Cheesy Raviolis. <laughs> Gotta love it. Am I right? Well, we got some food anyway. Okay, I'm starving. Big time problem. I need a can opener. I do not have one. So, if I had the camper, I'd have one. Okay, Google, how do you open a can without a can opener? Imagine you find yourself alone in a basement after the zombie apocalypse finally hit. I've got a very inexpensive, very cheap spoon that bends very easily. I don't have a spoon either. I can feel it. Guaranteed. I think these are all plastic. Yeah. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. Go press stop recording. Yesterday we couldn't fish, it was our meeting day, and it was flat as a pancake. Today, white caps. It's interesting though, the very first point that I came to, I just idled a mile. I don't know if there's shells on it yet or not, but the first one I got to, I made a cast on top. Interesting. Google Earth last night, right there, came right here. I, I idled for freaking five miles and fished right there, and you idle right over. That's how it works. Tough deal. A lot of idling. It costs an hour just to check something, literally. It's going to be so important to land on the right place and practice, or just to find something, because you screw up, it's not good. So it's uh, 12.30, not very good. I mean, I would have had probably 13 pounds, but it's amazing with only 80 guys practicing, I've seen at least 15 of them back in here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's supposed to get up to two and a half inches of rain. So is that gonna blow these creeks out or, or not? I don't know. I can't get a bite way back in any of them. Main creek points, there's some fish. Nothing to get excited about. I know I'm extremely lucky that I had this camera on for three minutes now and haven't hit a stump yet. Liking it. All I did was confuse myself. Came up here by the dam, got a whole bunch of bites in one pocket, and then I can't get bites anywhere else. Oh well, time to go back to the house. Think about it. Got one more day. Problem is, I'm torn. Muddy water, clear water. again day two of practice had that big bite well not big but three pounder on this white swim jig yesterday at the end of the day so i spent all, all night on google earth looking for more stuff like that like those tree bush rows this was the first one that i found came up here and got a bite he bit it on top too man 
try that horny toad. Boy, how fun would it be to do this all day? Fatty first cast. Yeah, look at a belly on that thing. First cat, exactly what at Ufala, same exact thing. I haven't had a bite in two hours. Come on, don't be a fluke. I don't think it was. It's just the beginning. Historically, I struggle in tournaments with the weather the way that it's shaping up to be in this one. Just. Anyway, the tournaments where everybody catches them when it's cloudy and windy and rainy and the fish are kind of like roaming, those are the ones I struggle in. Sometimes you just gotta cover water. That was another big one, three pounder anyway. Beyond to something, yeah. Oh. Big one. Man, I don't know how hard they're gonna be to catch. I might have to play with one just to get an idea. That was a five plus. I've marked 10 beds in this little tiny main lake pocket. It's not in a big creek. What's cool is that they're on beds and they're schooled up on these points. Oh yeah, seeing a lot of spawners today. I don't know how hard they're gonna be to catch. I'm gonna try to figure out how to make the VMC underspin thing look like a swimming jig with a blade under it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try. I'll let you know what I come up with. It's not pretty, and I don't even know if it's gonna work yet, but I had to take the screw lock off, slide that skirt over the top of the lead. Let's check her out. <sighs> Got two hours left, it's four o'clock. I know I'm gonna catch some fish, but I just don't, I don't have that unbelievably good feeling that I want. I have no groups of fish. I mean, other than some little wolf packs I saw at shallow, but nothing out deep. Two hours, find the magic spot. GoPro stop recording. Clarion Point Sulphur Springs Inn. Gotta do a Facebook Live with Major League Fishing. So I brought the Major League Fishing coffee cup. What you doing? Ah! Scared me half to death. See, what are you doing? See, this is, I'm setting up for our Facebook Live. We're gonna talk about what you're gonna do tomorrow on the water. Oh no, I'm not doing three. it. You have to. I want to know quarantine. all of the uh, raffle baits that you're going to be using. I can't talk. Know too. I can't talk with this gas mask on. Oh my gosh, you're fine. You're not sick yet. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How you doing, neighbor? Good. Good yeah. luck, man. Thanks. The lightning threat is more potential to be this afternoon. Well, here we go. Day one, group B. Group B is stacked. All the best boat officials. Got some weather coming. Looks like about 11.30. In boat number five. Representing 13 fishing, Dave La I'm back. 
I gotta switch to my lucky Superman hat. I was gonna save it till later just in case I needed it. That might not be the smartest thing to do. Alright, lots of tournaments today. There's um, like a 150 or 250 kayak tournament today. And I heard at least two pretty big tournaments go out of the ramp right where I'm staying. And I got a guy right behind me. I honored a couple of people on Thursday. There was a tournament and, and they asked me not to fish around them, so I didn't. And hopefully karma pays off right now. But uh, I can't really ask this guy not to fish here, but if this didn't get cleaned out, we saw what was in here in practice. The water looks good. Birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day. All we gotta do is wait. 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, lines in. Casey Ashley's the first angler on the board with the three pound zero on his back. Jacob Krosnick has a four pound one ounce. He's in first. Casey Ashley has a three pound zero ounce. Second, Mike McClellan, three pound zero ounce. And James Watson, two pounds, two ounce. Yeah, that's a big one, too. Okay. minutes to catch him. Gotta be a six pounder. Six pounds, six ounces. Yeah. <laughs> six, six. Cool. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Six, six. You know, there's another one in there. Well, I'll tell you, pressure, that's heavy hitters, too. You know what I mean? I was worried about catching a big one. Of course, that's not a Lake Fork Giant. It's cool, because I can't tell how big they are. Water's murky. Like, I knew it was a decent one, but I wouldn't have guessed it was that big. Got him. Oh, it's another big one. Oh, I don't know if I can high stick him. I'm gonna try. I gotta try. I gotta wait until he stops flopping. Bring him up here. Oh, got him. <laughs> That's not easy to do. My line's slipping. Nice. Two in the first 30 minutes. That's a five pounder. Four and a half anyway. Four pounds, 14 ounces. Yes. Five pounder. We're begging for a camera boat. Begging for a camera boat. Bring them. I always get the camera boats when I'm on the bubble. Never when I'm doing good. There's another one there. Come on, eat that. Come on, eat it. It's a pretty decent one, too. It looks like a two a pounder, but it looks bigger now. So tight up against that bush. I don't know if I can get on him this far away. I wasn't even going to spend any time on it because he looks kind of small, but he's definitely not small. Dave, there's a little less than two hours remaining in period one. You're in first place with 11 pounds, four ounces. This could get ugly in here, man. You have a five pound, three ounce lead over second. I don't know where her sweet spot is yet. Five per period. I gotta not get caught up in the hype when I fall down. Score tracker. Missed him. I fished for this fish for 10 minutes. Longest, longest one I fished for. And it bit, and I set the hook and somehow got a knot 10 feet way up my line. It should bite on the next cast. It would have bit if I could have made another cast right there. Well, I hope it's as big as I think. I mean, I think it's over four pounds. I'm just so far away, I can't really totally tell. Sometimes it looks like a three pound. Again, the problem is I got that, see that piece of wood there? I got to get them out of there. Camera's coming. Camera's coming? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm, that might not have been good. I rolled it. I'm scared it too bad. There it is. Another big one. Last 
Yeah, how about that? Number three. Four, four, four. Four pounds, six ounces. Nice. <laughs> four, six. Oh man, this is fun, people. Cut both of them off that bed. A five and a four off the same bed. Normally, I wouldn't stay on that other fish that long because there's a bunch more back here, but I did. Dave, you now have 15 pounds, 10 ounces. You're ahead of second by nine pounds, nine ounces. Uh-oh, I snagged it. That is not the Not the scoreable bass. It's not a penalty though, is it? It's not a penalty, we just don't, can't score it. They're like, what the heck's going on over there? Man, I've only done that once in my life. Three pounder. Boy, he bit it. <laughs> he bit it hard. That sucks. I'm waiting on you, I'm gonna go back in. Hey Dave, how you doing? Good. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you're here, Tyler gave you a Yeah, cool. <laughs> Taking all the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Hey Dave, I've got a mic for you when you're ready. One hour and 30 minutes to drop a break, Dave. Yes, Dave. Bummer. I think he's scorable. I think he's gonna make it. Two pounds, two ounces. Nice. That's number four. That VMC hook, man. I got guys borrowing, not borrowing, stealing. It feels good when you stick one. Hey Dave, how about an update from this morning? I've never been so nervous going into a tournament. I don't know, I don't know why. I think it's just Lake Fork. I'm in awe of this place. You know, it's like walking into Three River Stadium or something. I just couldn't get the jitters out. I found these fish on the last hour of practice. And I was just so nervous that somebody beat them up yesterday all day long. So to come in here and get to the first bed and see that six pounder still sitting there. Go to the next one and see that five pounder still sitting there. I mean, it's a, just a relief so bad. And then of course we have the heavy hitters on our mind all the time. The six, six isn't a giant fish to lay pork by any means, but it keeps me alive in, the, in that hunt for heavy hitters. smaller it's a uh, i'm not even sure what it is just a little bluegill imitation i'm getting them fired up with that senko with all seven of my senkos yes three pounds zero ounces three pounder first cast that fish bit eight times and i cut the nose off of this thing what's weird though is that that six pounder i thought was a four pounder that one i thought was a four pounder is a three pounder so you definitely can't tell but look how ugly that is well, that was fun. Leading it by what, an ounce? Ten. Ten ounces. Drift is coming. I mean, I'm basically fishing against myself. You know, I just got to ignore all that. Catch five fish per period. That was my goal this morning. I got six. I got to catch four in the next period. I think anybody who caught 15 fish yesterday was like in the top seven. These breaks are way too long. I'm wearing my lucky hat. First time I ever started with it. Usually I wear the right, the one I'm supposed to wear. I'm gonna get in trouble for this. There's my buddy Phoenix back there. Phoenix, say hi, we're live in China. MLF photographer, extraordinaire. You didn't get to see that last one I caught unless my cameraman will share that video with me. Got it on. Two inch Senko. You ever seen anything so stupid before? Don't answer that. Now I'm gonna just scoot around this point right here and sneak back into this pocket. Hopefully there's a couple of them in there. I, I can't imagine there not being. <laughs> Let me see. 
today, Brian Thrift has got a two pound, two ounce bass. He's now in first, 26 pounds, 12 ounces. If you're in second, you need one pound, two ounces. Mm, he's gonna be close. I think he's gonna make it. Two pounds, zero ounces. Nice, that don't happen to me very often. Two pounder. I'm usually the 115 guy. That's so weird how I was staying off that fish and then I get right on top of his button and he bites. You never know. I'll take two pounders all day long. That moves you back to first. You're 14 ounces ahead of Brian Grimm. See that? Three vasectomies. The wasp gets around me, he ain't gonna last long. You should have been able to hear that with my mic. <laughs> Bam! Yeah. inch Senko, a four inch Senko, a three and three quarter inch Senko, a three and a half inch Senko, a two inch Senko. I think that's all that's in this pocket. I am going to work my way out there just in case. Oh, I love you, Carlos. I don't know how we, how we even survived without them for so long. Interesting to see how the score tracker goes today. It's day number two for group A. I'm off today. It's really chilly out. It's in the 50s. Windy. This lake is very small for us. A lot of the sight fish have been found and that's how most of the fish are being caught. So anxious to see. I'm really nervous because I got nothing left. Kind of scary. A lot of new water I'm going to be fishing tomorrow. So I'm sure a lot of guys are in the same boat. We'll see what goes on. Keep an eye on that score tracker. All right, headed to Lake Athens. It's an hour and 10 minutes. It's my second day off and we are allowed to uh, to fish there for six hours. So getting ready for the top 10. Super cold today. Well, for here, it's 55 degrees, drizzly. So much for this little lake not getting any pressure. It's an Athens bass. Non-scorable, 114. Man, I wish we were staying on fork. There's a gazillion beds in here and a lot of fish, but it's getting hammered. They're gonna be tough to catch. Yeah, very nice people here. I'm the only one staying here and it's right by the ramp, so perfect. Got some rigging to do, only got a half hour before it gets dark. Got a fish tomorrow, group B. GoPro stop recording. Well, here we are, day two. It's gonna be a fun day, as long as Van Dam doesn't come in here by us. Spot's taken. That could have been a lot smoother. It could have been a lot rougher. <laughs> it could have been. Hey, don't choke. Don't believe everything you 
I don't believe nothing he tells me about you because you don't exist that I know that he pays you to follow him around. How much does he pay you? How have I, not enough. How, how have I known him for so long and never got to see I've never met you, I don't think. I know, I know, but I've heard I hear about you a lot. I don't She's a homebody that Hey, it's paying off right now. Don't have that one on. All decoys. Don't give me information. See, he's trying to give me information. Come on, we got boat officials right here. It's cold, it's cold, cold night's probably going to have an effect on fish. What that is, we don't know. We don't know. But it's all purely hypothetical. But it already has. The weights are kind of not. Yeah, they did not catch it yesterday. If the sun was to come out and be 80 degrees again, I don't know how fast it happened. Good luck, Jordan. Don't choke. Hmm. You can just sense the nerves. You know, everybody's nervous. It's a different place. This is like like Yankee Stadium. You know what I mean? Good luck. show up. Oh, there's a good one right there. That's a new bed right there. How much time do I have? About 10 minutes. One minute. Lines in, period one. Over. Whatever. Come on, fish. I need you to like twist and get this over with. They can be one, I'll tell you that. Come on. I gotta catch three per period. <laughs> can you believe that? Marty Robinson has caught a two pound four ounce bass. That's about what this one is. There's my weight, my line from earlier. So I can get my weight back, but I can't get my hook back because it's way down in there. Two pounds, five ounces. Thank God he was over two pounds. Two five. It took way too long. Yeah, he's not going to make it. One pound, nine ounces. Non-scorable bass. That made me excited. Things are going to happen in here. I haven't, I've never been, I'm flying by the seat of my pants now. How many little ones is that? Uh, four? Five? Yeah, four. Wow, this is weird, man. Can you imagine if these were all scorable? They should be, too. Having them little ones out there, you would think that there would be some back here. Really is crazy, man. Oh my god, I missed it. Didn't get it. That was exciting. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? I got nothing. I caught 11 little fish. Put a nice highlight reel together on that. 11 non-scorable bass, one barely scorable bass, and that's where we sit at the end of the first period. I'm kind of excited for some reason where I'm going, but if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. It's just the way it is. Breaks are too long. It was recording that whole time. Look at that stud. Praise you God, 
I needed that so bad. So at least I got the hook set, but I didn't get anything else. Six pounds, 12 ounces. Nice. I just literally caught 12 dank fish doing what I just did there, and then all of a sudden, bam. All right. How much was it? Six, six twelve. Six more ounces on heavy hitters, too. I can't believe I shut the camera off. <laughs> You have a total of 45 pounds, one ounce, five pounds, seven ounces above the cut line. Not very much. Hmm. It's bad luck right there. Go over there, you got it. Lost them. Caught three bass in three minutes. No, you're in 15th. Fish are so important to be losing them like that. Three in a row, all scoreables. Oh my gosh, I lost my How did he not get that? Oh man, I, I can't even stand this anymore. It was a six pounder. Please, please, please. Missed the swim jig, reeling it straight, just straight, no craziness. Huge one. Rolled on it like a but it would have been a buzz bait. How did I not get him? You don't miss them like that. Choked it. I have two swim jigs just for that reason. I got that one's for my, you know, for like super heavy, nasty cover. And this one's for like in the open. If I'd have been throwing this one, man, light little bit lighter hook. Golly. I can't believe I just got the miracle bite and didn't get it. Did you see that on camera by chance? Oh, you weren't even rolling on it? Man, it was so big. I, I'd really like to see how big that sucker was. Didn't feel the hook at all. He rolled on it and kind of missed it. It was just like, you know, I could feel him biting it. It was weird. I, I don't know. I never had an experience quite like that before. <sighs> it's over. That's just is what it is. Got him. Big one. That's not huge, but... It'll hunt. Oh, shit. Violation, that'll be a sweet. Three pounds, nine ounces. Three, nine. Well, if I would have been throwing that open water, I got a swim jig that's made that I got on just for open water with fluorocarbon and a light hook, Terminator, and I got a heavy duty one and I was throwing that heavy duty one up there in open water and got that six pound bite and didn't get it. And then the very next patch of grass I come to, I got one. I need to catch two more fish. This is what I should have done. I told you this morning, this is one of those creeks. It's just, there's a million locals in here and I just don't want to be near people, you know? But if I had just come in here and just fished all day from one end to the other, did my Van Dam impression, I would have caught them probably better than I did. Thinking too much. How much time we got left? One minute. Golly, are you serious? Well, I know what I need to be doing at least. That's two bites and 50 yards. Wow, this is the longest penalty ever. You sure you're doing that right? Sure. <laughs> Are you gonna pat me on the butt and send me back in the game in a minute? No. Lines in. That was painful. Look how far we drifted. We're out in the middle of the lake now. Drifted into Louisiana. Light wire, lighter line. They wanna spawn on those, those little patches of grass. That's the deal on this lake. That penalty made me sit on my wet carpet, now my butt's wet. I didn't get none of that. You got that, right? Who is that, Duckett? I mean, I know I was only a pound and a half out, but I got a feeling it's not gonna get me in. Hey, I led this thing once. That was a long time ago. I can promise you there's no more way I'd rather be fishing right now than doing this. I wish I would've came in here earlier, though. Stubborn. One of the worst days of my life on the water. Barring a score tracker mistake or somebody getting DQ'd for something dumb, I'm the first loser. I don't even know what to say. Lost too many. Should have been fun, should have been easy, but it was neither of those things. 10 minutes to go, got bumped. You end up getting in? You get in? Good job. Good job, man. Hard to take. The only good thing is, kids are off school, wife's out of work. <sighs> man, hard to take. Did you make it? I lost a six 
with 10 minutes to go. How's my fake smile? Good job, sucker. Nice. <laughs>